A banner. The emblem on it could be the paladin's arms. It shows a sword, a shield, and... Red high heels? No, I'm not one to judge. A banner. The emblem on it... Well, at least not in this context. But you know, being really rude? Now that I can judge. A paladin in a pink-colored outfit? That's wrong. Just... That's... Wrong. Well, only barely qualify Are you a pink. warrior? No, I can't fight. Are you a healer? I can't heal either. Then what the fuck then are you? you're a paladin. Puh. What do you want? Know any good paladin jokes? Why should anyone make jokes about us? We are the holy soldiers of the light. In dresses? This is a tunic. Sure. You know that men who wear dresses are, as a rule, well, men who wear dresses. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Just because I wear dresses, use cosmetics, and take a general interest in my appearance? Ah, so it is a dress. The modern man is metrosexual. That's news to me. Well, my order and I have lifted ourselves up out of the mud in which you and your sort still wallow like pigs. We're cosmopolitan, hip, fashionable. We take care of our appearance and don't downplay our feminine side. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I feel... I <laughs> just... The Wildlands. You know, I don't think I can even comment on this situation without offending somebody. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to say? I don't mind he wants to wear pink and dress up and whatever. It's okay. Pink's and... Okay, Carla. I'm more purple myself, to purple myself and red, but pink's perfectly serviceable. But, you know, still sounds like the guy's an asshole, and, you know, your sword? You barely know the guy! Come on! Ugh. What's that zombie head doing there on that lance? If I'd put it on the ground, it might try and bite me. It's also much easier to see like this. I mean, why did you behead the poor zombie in the first place? Huh! Zombies! Pfft. Are unkempt, stinky, unholy things. Without any charm or chic whatsoever. They can't expect any sympathy. See, now I'm gonna have to kill you. About the zombie you've stuck in the magical penitence pillory. What about that maggot? Is he going to give himself up to his fate? Is that cowardly zombie finally going to come out here? He's really sorry for what he did. He'd like to apologize. Ugh, laughable. I'll cut him into little pieces and feed him to the fishes. Why? Nice. But couldn't you maybe forgive him first? You've spent too much time in that smoky buffalo's tent. I would never forgive someone like that. About your fight with the zombie, that's nothing to do with you. That's between the zombie and me. Have to go. Man stuff to do. Ha ha. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do something real terrible to you. I played adventure games before. You do not want to get in the bath side of my pre-mediated murder vendettas. Also, that's a minotaur. A hideous feather headdress. Come on, let, don't be... Uh. No way, I'm not putting that thing on. But, I can take a feather. Still ugly. Don't be so judgmental, Nate. A pair of bellows. These would help the bull keep the fire going. So of course we're just gonna take them and stick Excuse them Excuse me, us. these bellows here, can I have them? They are broken. Hmm, can I have them anyway? What do I get in exchange? Nothing. They don't work. Mm. You speak wisely. At last, someone who recognizes that. Hmm. They really are wrecked. There's a hole here in the airbag. Well, I suppose if we had a needle, we could actually just close it up with the string we got. A copper bowl. No idea what that's good for. Hey, Chief. 
Can I take this thing here? Stare blankly if I can. Thanks. A mortar and pestle. Proper, man-sized. What is your obsession with your own gender? I think I'd better leave it here. The shaman might get upset if I took it with me. I can always come back if I want to grind anything again. The coals are just glowing, but the heat is tremendous. The coals are... The pot looks like it's been hanging over the glowing coals for years. I can't find anything else of interest. Only the lid's unusual. It's got a kind of steam valve on it. The lid is held with a chain. Pretty clever. The pot is empty. Well, that's probably going to be relevant at some point. Cow makeup. Unless I'm wrong, that is makeup, and I most strongly suspect that it belongs to Big Chief Clovenhoof. Just to make things clear, I'm not putting on any makeup. You will put up makeup if hmm. I say so, dammit. Black ink. I'll take that. A fat old bull that smokes a crazy looking pipe. And who doesn't seem to hear me. Or who doesn't get insulted too easy. Hi there. Hello? Anyone home? Moo! I heard you. Oh, that's great. My name's Nate, and you are? I am known on this plane as Fastfoot. Thunderhoof or the Rainmaker, I belong to the proud nation of the Minotaurs. And you run some sort of fancy hippie costume business? I am a shaman. Shaman. And that is? I talk to the ghosts of our forefathers. I brew potions, heal the sick, and invoke the weather. Wow, lots to do. You must really get stressed out. I think he's got that part handled. True. What's that stuff you're smoking? Plants. To journey with the spirits and to commune with my forefathers. You're supposed to eat grass, not smoke it. Okay. That moo thing just slipped out. I didn't mean to insult you. Eh, I just thought, hey, there's a bull sitting there. I'll say, moo. You get me? <laughs> if you'd have looked like a donkey, I'd have gone, eeyore. Or if it stank like a pigsty, then... I forgive you. But come to think of it, it reeks of buffalo, and I... Thank you. I have forgiven you. Super. I need to go outside. Something not quite right about the air in here. Good luck on your journey. May the grass between your hooves be evergreen. Not that we have hooves, but yeah. <laughs> That's something. The boards must have been out in the rain for a long time. They're rotten and covered in mold. Hmm, some kind of juice press, I'd say. You put the grapes or whatever in at the top, and the juice runs out the bottom. Hey, it still works even. Maybe it's just the green-skinned guys who weren't able to work it. Still works. If that garbage pile grows just a few more meters, the orcs might as well forget the gate. Any attacker will just be able to use it to climb over the wall. 
The flowers seem to be doing well in the garbage. They're in full bloom. The blooms are a luminous blue. Are they supposed to be luring someone or warning them? Great, now I've got blue fingers. Trash from every corner of the world. How did that all get there? <laughs> Wanted. Slay the Knoll Hogger and take his powerful Knoll Claw. Blah, 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 all the routine stuff. I'm rolling my eyes. I don't think so somehow, but we should give it a try. What do you think you're doing there, worm? I'm, uh, storming your camp? <laughs> Who are you? I am the great Gorak, chief of the Blood Scythe Orcs. What have you done with little Wilbur? What's a little Wilbur? He's a gnome, and my friend. Oh, him. Since when did people start naming their gnomes? What's the world coming to? He walked into our trap earlier. Stupid little beggar. Is he all right? I damn well hope so. What would anyone want with a damaged gnome? I, don't know. I want Wilbur back, right now. We caught him, so he belongs to us now. Get yourself a new one. At this hour? I'm responsible for him. Your problem. He's the main prize in our warrior contest, so he stays here with us. What is your warrior contest exactly? It determines who is the most powerful warrior. Two opponents go head to head in a series of brutal tests. The winner is bestowed with great honor and receives a prize. And Wilbur's nothing more than a prize to you? No, the prize is a bottle of fire whiskey. The gnome's just a bonus. Oh, okay. So, can anyone take part in the warrior contest? We orcs fear no one. We'll take on anyone in a warrior contest. Well, that's fine. Then let me in. I want to take part. Oh, I said it's a warrior contest. Someone like you taking part would be a complete waste of time. I may not look all that dangerous, but sometimes the less obvious guys are the most dangerous. You're right. Really? You don't look dangerous. <laughs> uh, point taken. I'll go find a warrior in all this wasteland. Then can he take part in your contest? If he's a real challenge, why not? But not any old piece of rubbish. He has to be a great warrior. I know where this is going. Why do you guys always make trouble? You kidnap harmless gnomes and then attack the free world for no reason at all. That wasn't an attack. It was an anticipated defense of the homeland in enemy territory. And anyway, what else are we supposed to do? We have the biggest army in the world. No one else invests as much gold in the military as we do. It would be madness to invest all that gold and then never wage war. That's downright irresponsible. We couldn't anticipate that the damn war would take forever. And now you're stuck in it up to your ears, as is the Alliance. <laughs> That's all propaganda. There are thousands of war-hungry, well-equipped and motivated warriors here in the camp waiting for deployment. Oh, yeah. I'm from the Environment Office. You do know that you can't just go chucking your rubbish all over the landscape here. Open the gates, please. I need to check your garbage cans. Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? How can anyone blather such rubbish? I don't know either. It's like I can ask different questions, but every time I select the most stupid one. I'll be back. I just learned I'll that I'll wait. I just learned that I need to make sure that, you know... I ask everyone about everything. Hey, Gulliver. Ah, the living one. Apparently the orcs have made Wilbur a prize in a warrior contest. Do you happen to know any warriors? 
Uh, a warrior who would compete against an orc in a warrior contest? Correct. And who lives nearby? If possible. And uh, if it's also possible, he shouldn't charge for his services. Aha. Uh -huh. So someone like that, you won't find him around here? Most probably not. If I don't find a warrior who can extract Wilbur out of there, then at least I've done my best. It will have been God's will. You could compete in the contest yourself. Do I look like a warrior? Should I go and get myself some weights and pump myself up in time for this afternoon? Well, in my experience, there are two ways to become a dreaded warrior. Oh, thank you. The no first problems. way is the virtuous path of trial. You must gain experience in countless battles, work on your technique, and improve upon all of your skills. But we don't have time You for must that. understand the essence of fighting better than anyone else. You must never give up. Every detail must be important to you. True. Then, after a long and agonizing period of humiliation and defeat, you'll become a reasonable warrior. Right. And the other way? You need invincible kit. If your weapons and armor are better than everyone else's, it doesn't matter if you're a useless warrior. Your kit does the work for you. I feel like we're making more that, comments about uh, the end of That might industry. be just the thing for me. I'll get myself some invincible kit, save the little guy, and become the hero of the hour. I think there may be a legendary warrior set somewhere near here. What makes you think that? Oh, just an idea. It's true. There is a powerful and famous set close by. But how did you know? Does it maybe consist of several components that are distributed around this area? And there's a whole series of rip-your-hair-out, tedious tasks to complete to get each part? Indeed! They are the helmet, the shield, and the sword of power, but how? Well then, what do I have to do for you, for you to help me? Well, um, you... you could help me with my body. What's missing? Um, well, I need a lung. And? Uh, a heart. And the third thing? Um, everything needs to be powered up. A, a bolt of lightning that will breathe life back into my body. Uh-huh. If you help me, I'll tell you where the sword of power is kept. And perhaps the others know where the helmet and shield are. I'll put money on that. Ah, you're not much fun, are you? So, where am I going to get a heart from around here? Hmm. You could give me yours. Great idea. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> so, what's a lung supposed to be doing in a machine? What do you think? It supplies the body with oxygen. And what do you need oxygen for? Energy is produced from sugar in the mitochondria, the cell's power stations, with the help of oxygen. The vital organs need this energy, particularly the brain. But you're, you're a skull. You haven't got a brain. You exist totally without blood, oxygen, sugar, and all that other stuff. In my construction manual, it clearly states that a human cannot live without lungs. You mean the cornflakes pack with the kids special? You and your body. Five ways to proper nutrition. Look, I've only got one chance and I want to get it right. So bring me a lung. I've got to get going. Ah.